Hi LEGO fans, today we're going to unbox, speed build and review set number 60153, the fun at the beach people pack from LEGO City. This is an expensive set with a retail price of $39.99, especially when you consider the piece count. This set only has 169 pieces. To put that into perspective, last weekend I reviewed set number 40252, the mini VW Beetle from LEGO Creator. That set had 141 pieces and that was absolutely free, that was a giveaway. So for this set to only come with 169 pieces for $40, it's got to be really, really good. This is not the first time I've bought a people pack from LEGO City. Last year it was set number 60134, Fun at the Park, and that had a really unique feature to it. That was the first time we ever saw a LEGO Baby Micro figure. So while I can't see any groundbreaking features in this set, we do have some really cool elements. First of all, we've got this kayak, and then we've got the surfboard, which I think is a new element, certainly this sail piece here. We've got the guy here with the metal detector, and I've not seen one of those before. And then we have this couple playing volleyball. And there's a curious wardrobe malfunction going on here with the printing on the lady. As you can see, the, uh, the bottoms here uh, are only printed on the front, so when she's been posed in this position, you can see the yellow coming through. One other thing that I found really interesting about this set is that it clearly states on the front of the box, kayak and surfboard do not float. Yet when we go to the LEGO store's website, it clearly states in the description of the set that the kayak floats. So come on LEGO, which one is right? Hmm, I feel a scientific test coming on later. Let's flip the box over and see what we get on the back. I guess the important thing to remember here is that we are buying a people pack and we are certainly getting a lot of people in here. We actually have 15 different minifigures and a number of accessories. In addition to the minifigures, we are getting some animals as well. We get this Dalmatian dog, a dolphin, a fish, a lobster, and a parrot. And that sure is an expensive fish. No wonder the diver's got a big smile on his face. And it looks like our guy with the metal detector is having a very successful day uncovering this vintage boombox complete with cassette deck. Okay, let's put sticker shock to one side. We're gonna get this thing open and see what's in the box. Cool, so here's everything we get inside the box. We have two instruction manuals, two bags of Lego, one kayak piece, and two windsurfer sails. I guess LEGO anticipate that these might be easily lost or easily damaged. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this together. This isn't going to take very long and we're going to condense it into a 25 second speed build. And here's a completed build. This took 18 minutes to put together and an important note, I am displaying this on base plates which do not come with the set. As a collection of minifigures and accessories, it's not a very cohesive build, but when you put it together with some nice base plates or build it into your own creations, that's when it really comes to life. Let's zoom in and take a look at every aspect of the set in a little bit more detail. We're going to start out by reviewing the kayak and the windsurfer and then we're going to answer the ultimate question, do these things float or do they sink? The kayak is a one piece element just with the addition of this grate here for the minifigure's feet. The really nice thing about this element is that we have lots of ways to make our own models out of it. We have all of these studs on the top, uh, we've got some holes in the bottom here which doesn't bode well for our sink or swim test. And then we've also got this place here where we can push in an axle and maybe we could have a mast on the end of this. We could even put in little aerials or flags on the ends of the, the kayak to make our own builds. Uh, flipping it upside down, 
There are some voids on the bottom where some air could be trapped, so there is a chance this thing may float, but the holes on the bottom do worry me more than a little. This is our kayaker and he comes with his very own paddle, which is quite a simple construction, but we've got these really nice paddle elements stuck to the end of this rod here. And I've put these on an angle, which is typically how you would configure a kayak paddle. Turning our attention to the minifigure himself, he is quite safe. He's got this wetsuit on and he's also got a flotation aid here. I'm just gonna take that flotation aid off so we can have a look at the printing on his wetsuit. Uh, put his uh, very cool hairstyle back on. Yeah, so we've got some simple printing there on the torso with plain black pants. And if we turn him over, uh, similar printing on the back, a little bit of metallic printing there for the zipper on the back of his wetsuit. And we turn him around, he's a very cool dude with these sunglasses on or his shades. And I really like the, uh, you know, the kind of uh, wet down hair there. Very cool dude. And that is our kayaker. The Windsurfer is a very cool build. I'm really pleased with this. And if we look at the date on the sale itself, it's actually saying 2017, the Lego Group. So that's a good indication that this is actually a new element going into circulation. Now that might reflect only on the sale. Uh, I'm not sure about the aging on the sale board itself here, uh, but uh, certainly that's a nice addition to the collection. I'm gonna take our windsurfing lady off here for the moment so we can focus on this. And if you've ever ridden a surfboard, you will know that the, the actual sail itself isn't rigid. It does flop about so that you can angle it and turn it into the wind. And these things are really hard to ride. Um, yeah, so we've got this little ball movement here on the bottom there that enables the sail to connect to the sailboard. Now I'm not confident this thing is gonna float, but we will test it anyway. At LEGO, safety is number one priority and our windsurfing lady is wearing a buoyancy aid. I'm just gonna take that off so we can take a look at the printing. She is wearing a very similar wetsuit to the kayaker in a different color and with some contouring for the female body. She's also wearing these black pants which have no printing on the back or on the sides either. Uh, if we look at the back of the wetsuit, again, we have the metallic printing for the zipper and no expression on the back of the head. I don't know if any of these characters in this set do come with an alternate expression on the back. She has this very cool blonde hairstyle, and to be honest, I can't imagine it's gonna look like that for very long if you're out on the sea on a surfboard. Um, so, you know, she's a, a very nice character, really like that, and that is our female windsurfer. So this is the moment of truth for our kayaker. Do we believe the lego.com website or do we believe the box? Let's go ahead. Now, just in the interest of safety, I put his buoyancy aid back on and I'm gonna give him the best chance possible by lowering him gently into the water here. And I am gonna call that an epic fail. However, if we don't put a minifigure on the kayak, it does float. So, strictly speaking, the website is correct. The kayak floats. But if you can't put a minifigure in the kayak, what the heck's the point? After the epic fail with the kayak, I think it's pretty much a done deal that this thing is not gonna float, but I did promise I was gonna test the surfboard and here we go. And yes, she definitely needs that buoyancy aid. In keeping with the ocean theming, we also get this large dolphin element and he is a beautiful blue color, apart from the printing on his eyes. And if we turn him over, there are areas on the base of the dolphin where we can attach Lego bricks. So for example, we could attach him to a baseboard like this to show him jumping out of the water. Or we could do what I did for the initial display of the set. And I just used a couple of bricks on the bottom there, matching the ocean color to make it look like he's jumping out of the sea. Stepping out of the ocean and onto the sand, we have our scuba diver, and he has a couple of friends here. Firstly, we have the fish element, which is quite commonly used in Lego. We've definitely seen that before. And we also have this exquisite little lobster piece with the printed eyes. Again, 
definitely not an exclusive. We've seen that before. Most recently, from my recollection, that was in the lobster-loving Batman minifigure from the collectible Batman movie minifigure series. At first glance, the diver looks like a great little minifigure, but there are some problems with the way LEGO have put this together. Okay, he's got these great flipper pieces on his feet, which fit, and then we've got the wetsuit, but the, the problems start to emerge when we look at the printing on the front of the torso. Firstly, you're gonna see all of these dials here and the weight belt. Now, these are common with deep sea diving, and this is where we would be spending extended periods of time under the water. Now, of course, to use things like dials here, you would need a air tank on the back, and that is completely missing from this minifigure. We do not get an air tank, but we do have a scuba helmet, but the scuba helmet does not match with the instrumentation we see on the diver on the front. So yeah, this is very flawed. He's either gonna be a snorkeler or he's gonna be a diver, but he can't really be both. I'm just gonna pop his head off there so we can see his expression, which is nice. No printing on the back. And yeah, this is a nice minifigure, but it's not quite right. This little guy has definitely got the right idea. He's got this cool hammock swung between two palm trees and he's listening to music on his MP3 player. This little guy is clearly having a great day listening to his music and if we angle him slightly, we can see that printed piece there. And yes, he's definitely using a mobile phone, not an MP3 player. Who does use MP3 players these days? Well, I do, I still have one in the car. Uh, but this little guy is dressed in a green hoodie and if we turn him over, you can see the hoodie at the back there. He's got these very short legs on there because he's a child and he's got this very cute, happy, freckly face. The hammock itself is quite a simple build made possible by this piece of fabric, which is very similar to the fabric that Lego uses to make capes, except it's got a perforation in both ends so that we can push these brown aerials through it and use some other elements to make up the palm trees. And because it's pinched at both ends, it makes a nice hammock scoop for a little minifigure to lay inside and enjoy the sunshine. Keeping watch and making sure everybody's having a great day at the beach is our lifeguard. And he comes with this lifeguard stand and a little avian friend, the parrot here. Now, the only thing that worries me a little bit about this lifeguard stand build is that there is no ladder. I mean, Lego make plenty of ladders. Uh, so there's no reason really we couldn't have had a ladder to help the lifeguard get up and down from his post. But that is our lifeguard. Let's take a look at him in a little bit more detail. He is a very cool dude with his mirrored sunglasses and that metallic printing on his face there. We also have some metallic printing on his torso to represent the whistle. Uh, and I'm not sure why he'd need that because he's also got this rather large bullhorn to let people know about any danger on the beach. I suppose this comes into play if the bullhorn runs out of batteries. He's also got his binoculars and if we turn him over, he has this kind of surfboard symbol on the back of his outfit and some very well coiffured hair. You know, he certainly takes a lot of time and attention taking care of his appearance. And that is our lifeguard. The parrot is an interesting element made out of two different colored types of plastic, red and green. We don't have any printing on the parrot. We just have a simple hole to represent the eyes. And then this mm, kind of interesting green spot on top of his head. And that is presumably where it was uh, chopped off the injection molding machine when the parrot was made. Further down the shore, we have our metal detector enthusiast, and this is the first time I've seen a metal detector in Lego. It looks like he's about to stumble on some treasure. The metal detector is a single molded piece, and there are studs on the side and also on the top here, and it would be nice to customize this with perhaps a single round printed piece on the top here to represent a dial so that we can see and get a visual indication of when we're detecting metal. The metal detecting guy bears more than a passing resemblance to the aging Han Solo minifigure. He's wearing these plain, dark blue pants or jeans, I guess, and also this Hawaiian shirt over a t-shirt. And that is beautifully printed with flowers also on the back. There's no alternate expression on the back of the head as is the case with most of these minifigures. And he's got this very cool, very hip gray hair. Building sandcastles is my favorite thing to do at the beach. And our little red haired girl must be having a great time. 
She's made this great little sandcastle complete with flag and she's got a spade and pail to help her. This is a beautiful little minifigure with dual molded legs and a matching printed top. Let's just have a look at that top there and it's actually the same print on the front and on the back. That's exactly the same print. We have this beautiful hairstyle which drapes down over the shoulders of the minifigure and comes in this fabulous red colour. And that is our little sandcastle building girl. The volleyball players are dressed for a great day out at the beach and they come with this volleyball net and a ball that looks suspiciously like a soccer ball. The female volleyball player looks like she's just stepped off the set of Baywatch with this red swimsuit and it's beautifully printed at the top and on the back here with the crossover straps. But the front printing on the legs leaves a lot to be desired. If we angle the legs back slightly, you can see that very quickly we start to expose a lot of yellow plastic and that just looks, frankly, odd. We do have some great printing on the face there with the sunglasses and the lipstick and a pretty generic hairpiece on there. Uh, so that is our Baywatch-esque female volleyball player. Her opponent does not have the same problem because Lego have opted for these dual printed legs and I really like the way the blue shorts match the colour of the sunglasses on this character. We have some very simple printing on the torso and also on the back just defining the shape of the body and then this awesome almost kind of waxed hair on there. You know he's definitely set up for a day at the beach and to be seen and appreciated. This guy does not look like he's having fun at the beach. He is our sanitation engineer and he's here to make sure that anything that gets left behind gets picked up and put in the trash. He comes with this green trash can, a sweeping brush and a banana. He's wearing these very utilitarian dungarees with printing on the front and on the back and you can tell by his expression that he's not particularly pleased and that's our sanitation engineer. There's no better way to enjoy a nice hot day at the beach than with an ice cold beer. Or if you can't get an ice cold beer, ice cream is the next best thing. Our grandmother with the $100 bill is treating her granddaughter to a nice cold ice cream from the ice cream vendor. And we have this very simple build for dispensing ice cream with the colours of the Italian flag. Grandma has some nice printed detailing on the front of the swimsuit and on the back and these very cool dual molded legs. She has a very kindly face and this grey hair piece and not to mention the $100 bill which is way too much to pay for an ice cream. The ice cream seller has very plain pants on here, just these red unprinted pants but she's got a nicely printed top there with the neckerchief and some very nice hair. I really do like the way these hair pieces that Lego have been putting together recently drape over the shoulder and down onto the front of the minifigure. That's a very nice touch and definitely something I will use again and again. And finally we have our bespectacled little girl with the beautiful printed top here with butterflies and a little necklace around her neck there with the love heart. We have these little purple pants on there and a little bit more printing on this flouncy top towards the back. Uh, we've got one of these hair elements with the braiding around the back ending here which are always very nice and you know she's just very cute, very nice little mini figure. Even dogs like coming to the beach, just make sure they've got plenty of water to drink and this is a great little dog element here with the Dalmatian printing, very nice to see and then we've also got mom and the little kid enjoying their time at the beach. The lounger and the umbrella are very simple builds and you probably already have the parts to make these in your own collection. Looking a little bit closer at that dog, it is a very nice element. It's a single element with no articulation, but I really like this Dalmatian print that Lego have put together. That's a very nice piece. Our little guy here is carrying a very retro looking beatbox with cassette deck. And last time I saw something like that was in one of the collectible minifigures series. And I'm sure we had a dancer with one of these, maybe a dance instructor. He's wearing this basketball top with the number 39 and if we turn him over you can see he's also got the 39 on the back there and we've got these triple molded legs with the uh, kind of maroon red yellow followed by that maroon red again and we'll just turn him back over so you can see his expression he looks like he's having a great time. Our sunbathing beauty here has dual molded legs with these green shorts and a coordinating bikini with these little white polka dots. 
If we turn her over, you can see we've got the, the printing on the back there that matches, and this great hair piece with her hair braided down, you know, pretty much to the middle of her back. Looking at the front of the face, she's wearing these mirrored sunglasses. You can just see the metallic printing if I angle her towards the lights. And she's carrying this camera. And that is our sunbathing bikini beauty. So that was set number 60153, the fun at the beach people pack from Lego City. With a retail price of $40 and a piece count of 169, our cost per part comes in at about 24 cents, which is exactly four times as much as you would pay for the Saturn V rocket. So is this great value for money? No, it's definitely not. It's $40 for 169 pieces. Would I recommend you go out and buy this? I would say you have to have a reason to buy this set. So if you have a Lego City setup and you want to do a beach at your Lego City, then this is a great way to do it. You've got all of the pieces you need to make a convincing beach setup. Also, if you're a collector of minifigures or a collector of unique Lego elements, then there's some really cool stuff in this set. If I was to give this a rating, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 for content, but a 3 out of 10 for value. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, speed build and review of the Fun at the Beach People Pack. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. We release two new videos a week, so there's always something new or something old to check out on my channel. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you on the next build video.